For number one, we want to jog with the ball five to seven minutes. Here, this is where you catch up with your boy, your partner. You talk about anything and everything. You talk about that girl that's in class that, you know, she's looking kind of cute and maybe you want to ask her out. You know, you talk about life here. This is this is where the moments are. You know, this is where core memories are kind of made of. OK, guys, you know, you could talk about the Sunday's game and maybe how you want to get better. For number two, we have one touch passes. You're going to do this for five to seven minutes as well. All of this is just to warm up, you know, get the muscles ready, get the legs ready, get the mental ready. Now into our technical phase. Here, you're gonna call out passes in the ground and in the air. If you say one, your partner has to pass it back in one touch. If you say two, he has to pass it back in two touches. You really want to practice the control on the ball here and your reaction time is key here this is going to help you out in both this one this drill this really makes it feel like it's game ready you have to act quick for number four we had the dribble up the channel while balls are being kicked towards the dribbler this one is really fun and really competitive okay because your objective as the guy with the balls you really want to make sure your partner does not make it up that lane okay your goal is to block him and as you're the dribbler you're gonna have fun with this too you're gonna try to avoid the balls being kicked at you and you really want to be able to go past your opponent the thing try not to you know kick the ball too high up because look at what's going on here my partner is really coming after me look i even do a little rainbow flick on him just because of all the balls that are being kicked towards me and it's really fun once you make it through hopefully you guys enjoy that one as for number five we have the channel passes in here you're gonna do passes on the ground, obviously through the channel, okay? On the ground, make sure you don't go out of this channel, okay? It's pretty wide, so it should be good. And in the air, guys, okay? You wanna be able to receive the ball in the channel and give it back while also being on the channel, okay, guys? This is a good one. Now we're entering the shooting phase. Here, you wanna pass to your partner and shoot first time okay guys this was it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward you pass it to your player and you run to the other side and receive the ball and you kick it you try to do it first time for number seven in the shooting phase we have one touch finish from the ground and air passes from the cross okay guys this is really going to help you in the situations from both sides of the field when your cross is coming in from the left and from the right on the ground and in the air this is going to be clinical for strikers for sure for number eight we have the reactive shooting here you're going to want to be behind your partner your partner is going to face towards goal you either give the ball through his feet which is pretty funny or above his shoulders any either side making sure you do it on all sides okay guys it's going to really help you out in your reaction hopefully you enjoyed that one this is a bonus drill in here ask the receiver of the ball when you get the ball from your partner your partner is going to yell out a color if he says blue cones you go dribble up to the blue cones if he says orange you dribble to that one we did not have cones for the for the back so we just yelled out goal in that one you dribble behind you you dribble back to your place and you give it back to your partner this is a really good workout you might get exhausted from this one good luck back to the shooting phase we have number nine in here you want to one touch as best you can into the cones and receive the ball to shoot first time this is a really fun one you got to focus on your touch through the cones and finish this is a good one guys enjoy that one into the creative phase you have the 1v1 where you go all out okay here you pull out all the stunts you want to do in game but you don't you know this is where you push it to the limit look at what i do here listen look at this oh i rainbow flicked him look guys you really want to pull out all the tricks here okay because there's no there's no consequences here okay guys go all out